Hello guys, good morning. So in today's video, I'm going to present to you um, on how to do binary in addition. But before that, we are going to explain what is binary. I'm going to give to you the definition of what is binary, right? So according to the, uh, the system, a binary number system, so when we say binary, this refers to any digital encoding or decoding system in which there are exactly two possible states in digital data memory storage and processing and communications the zero and one if zero and one um, values are sometimes uh, called low or high low or high and respectively in transistors one refers to the flow of electricity and while zero represents no flow of electricity so when we say one there is electricity when we say no zero means no electricity all right so here in the fourth number oh, okay so here first we're going to discuss uh, the place value for example there is a four digit number Okay, um, one nine eight zero. So one here is our. This is when we talk about place value, we will talk about its allocation. First, is once here is in the thousands place in mathematics, we know this is thousands place, right? Thousands place. Next, this nine is hundreds. Hundreds place. This eight here is tenths place. This zero here is once. Once. Okay. All right. Now let's focus on um, addition in binary system. Um, binary addition is one of binary operations. So it works similarly to the base ten decimal system except that it is a base 2 system. So in most of the modern digital computers and electronic circuits, perform the binary operation by representing each bit is a voltage signal. So the bit 0 represents the off state and the bit 1 represents the on state. So there, in binary addition rules, um, Binary is addition is much easier than the decimal addition because when you remember the following rules before using these rules any binary number can be easily added. The four rules here. Here is now the four rules. Okay. So first, this is the first bit. Zero plus um, zero always zero. Okay. Don't be bothered about that. Next. Zero plus one. So the answer, the second rule is always one. Next, negative one plus zero. The answer is one. Okay. Next, negative one plus one is always ten. This is the fourth rule. First, second, third, fourth. So this is these are the rules in addition of binary. Now, how to do binary addition, okay? I will present to you on how to solve binary addition. But first, we will erase this. Right, let's wait. Okay, so here, uh, first, for example, Add the binary numbers of 101 and 101. So we are going to add this number 101 and 101. So we will arrange this in two columns. Okay. 101 plus. Right. So here the first one is you are going to consider the ones column. So where is our ones column here? It's this one. This is our ones column. We are going to add it. So in the in the rules of uh this one if one times uh, plus one the answer is always 10 okay 10 so 
we will put zero here and we will carry one up here all right and after that okay so if i'm going to say that now leave the zero in the ones column then carry the value of one in the second column and after that mm, now add add the 10th place so where, where is our 10th place it's here it's here okay so one plus zero plus zero the answer is one all right now so nothing carries to the hundred place and leave the volume in the tens place okay so there one plus zero plus zero is one next now add the hundreds place so where is our hundreds place here it belongs to this group okay digit hundred one plus one so that is hundred place all right now we will add that one if we all know uh one plus one plus one the answer is always 10 all right so we will do here so that is now the result of addition in 101 plus uh, 101 okay so when you cross check the value with decimal value the resultant value should be the same okay and the binary value of 101 here is equal to the values of uh values of five okay so five plus five as we all know five plus five is ten so the decimal number is this one 